Hello, session two tubers. Session tubers. Let's play Final Fantasy tubers with uh, the Pixel Remaster. Uh, anyway, this is the second day of streaming, and uh, hope you guys are enjoying it as we continue from where we left off, plus a little bit extra. So, before we dive back into this dungeon, we've got to uh, just to keep the future tubers caught up. We picked up the pendant last time in this dungeon, went back to the wyvern, talked to the wyvern, got the wyvern egg. So today we will be bringing the wyvern egg to the bottom of this uh, cave and doing whatever we do with it. But between sessions, between streams, off camera, you know all that, I did do a little bit of grinding. Um, I honestly tried not to go too far ahead. As usual, I kind of, I try to keep these things sane so I don't go to like level 99. But um, just in the process of, of trying to get some weapon ranks and magic ranks, some of our stats got a little bit out of control. Uh, evasion and magic defense, the multipliers, the six times, five times numbers. I didn't do anything specifically, they just went up automatically, and uh, that's really high. So we're not going to take a lot of damage when we have shields equipped, but, you know, okay, whatever. Um, other than that, strength, pretty high, agility just seems to go up by wearing not heavy armor. Um, stamina from damage, intellect from black magic, spirit from white magic, it's all pretty normal, except I would say quite generous uh, compared to some of the predecessors. Uh, you can see Maria's stats. Everyone's pretty similar. Maria's focusing on black magic. Furion's focusing on white magic. And Guy just does a little bit of white magic. He's kind of my monk. So he's got punching axes and swords mostly. Uh, Maria is like uh, spears, bows, and daggers in theory. And then Furion is like swords, um, staves, and spears. That's, at least that's the idea. And then everyone learns how to use shields because shields are pretty broken. So that's our, our basic uh, stat block. But what I really spent some time on was getting some magic ranks. And uh, I want to make sure all the spells are somewhat useful that we've already got. So like Isuna at level 1 doesn't actually cleanse all status ailments. In fact, it... I think it only gets rid of green, no, the blind status effect and maybe the minor poison, the green one. So, at level 4, it should apply to most things, like regular poison, uh, darkness, maybe silence. I'm not sure if it's going to hit, like, the stone petrify effect yet, or pig, toad, etc. kind of fancy stuff. But, um, if 4 is enough that it should work on normal stuff. Sap is basically how to grind MP. It it actually is way stronger than previous versions. I would say Sap got a huge power up in this version. Um, one cast of Sap, single target will basically em empty out your MP and get you a guaranteed uh, growth of uh, max MP. So I haven't tried to abuse it too badly, but it just happened a couple times. The teleport gets you out of dungeons and has some instant death effect in battle. Not very accurate so far. Basuna is kind of like Isuna, except only status effects that wear off, like slow, um, what's a negative status effect that you'd want to cleanse, um, st like stun, par perilous, par paralyze, slow, sleep, stuff like that, and again, I tried to get a couple ranks up. Blink supposedly ranges, raises evasion. I haven't really noticed a difference because our evasion is so high. And then I wanted life to be a few a few levels higher. I think at some point you start reviving characters with more than one HP. But at level 4 it doesn't seem to do much different than level 1. So grinding it is just so slow. Um, Guy just has a couple spells. I didn't spend much time on him. But Maria is where I spent all the time. So... She's got a couple basic white spells, but I've been trying to get all the elemental fire, lightning, ice, poison, and then her warp for insta-death, basically, and then a bunch of the status spells. I've tried, but boy, is it hard to grind these up and not go crazy. Um, stop might be the most useful of these, um, if I had to pick one. Uh, curse, I'm not even exactly sure what it does, but they are all pretty rare to hit, and grinding them up to higher, like higher levels should be more accurate, but it just takes so long. At least the damage spells are sort of useful, uh, but you basically only would ever use them against enemies that are weak to the element. Against non-weakness enemies at level 7, they're still going to do like 
maybe at most 100 damage, which is not very much. And at best, if they're weak to it, you might get like 300 damage. But compared to your weapons, it's tiny, it's inconsequential. Um, I'll show it off in just a second. But yeah, I grinded these up to level 7. My, I sort of tried to keep count. It took approximately 40 to 50 casts to go from level 6 to 7 of one spell. So fire level 6 to fire level 7 took over 40 castings. So you can basically get a feel for how long this took just to get it to level 7. I wanted to get them to the same level as my weapons at level 8 or 9, but it's just going to take too long. So, you know, maybe one day, I don't know. Maybe there'll be a better point later in the game where we can grind these up without spending hours. Uh, and then Berserk supposedly raises your attack. So we've only got two buffs. We've got uh, Blink and Berserk. I'd like to get Protect and Shell. Um, and I think there's like an Aura, which is really good, but we don't have... That'll be like end game. Curse status halves the stats. That's nice. So if it if if you can connect with it, and if it works the way it is supposed to work, I mean that's okay. But the thing is, what you'd want it to work on is like a boss, and they're probably just immune to it 99% of the time. Oh, um, I will show off some of the weapons. I did get to like I said, I got lots of giant glove drops. I've been trying to use this bow. The flame bow is actually pretty good, good enough that um, I would use it, but. The, the strat is definitely shield and one weapon. Dual wielding kind of sucks because your second weapon does like 50% or something damage of the main hand weapon. So our first strike would be very strong, but our second strike is actually much, much weaker if you dual wield. Um, and the shield gives you maximum evasion, even with, a, even with a pretty weak shield. Like, you don't need a very good shield, you don't need a very high shield skill, and you just, you have 99% evasion. So I would generally just say use whatever weapon you like and a shield. The bow doesn't give you a shield, so you're not as good. I think in the NES version, if you were in the back row, enemies couldn't target you with physical attacks. Only magic and like bows and stuff. In this game, they can still target you and the difference between back row and front row seems kind of minor. Like, sure, you take less damage, but it's just a little bit. Uh, you'd probably be better off, again, to be shield and sword or shield and spear in the front row. But uh, anyway, enough rambling on. Let's uh, let's get to the game here. So we've already basically full cleared this dungeon. I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time um, explaining it or walking around. I just want to showcase some of our weapon strengths as we go down. And I'll switch off a couple different weapons as we go. But you can see the, the flame bow is doing good damage. But um, undead enemies probably weak to fire, so it is... It's higher than normal, basically. Uh, one thing that I will show off right away, because I want to do it now so that I don't leave it on too long. Uh, punching is just as broken as it was in the NES version. Uh, you might be like, oh, 750, ooh, 580. Nah, 1400. The punching, the punching does the most damage, uh, at least until you get like Excalibur tier weapons. And even then, I don't know, you need like level 16 punch. And I feel like it'd probably be better, unless you had like level 16 sword with the best sword in the game, I think the punching would still win. But I mean, you could probably max out 99 strength, 16 punch pretty easy and uh, you could just get that early on and be... Shouldn't use eye drops. We should keep trying to get spell XP by using Asuna to get rid of blind, just to, to slowly grind that rank up. Uh, these are the guys that we like to kill because they drop the giant gear. I could still use like one more giant uh, helmet or something, but maybe one day. Okay, let's switch up some weapons. So that was punching, which is overpowered. Uh, we d we used an axe. We, this is kind of like a tier two axe. We don't have a tier three one yet. Um, what else does guy use? He's punches, axes, and uh, didn't I give him another weapon type? Swords, I guess. Yeah. The wing swords are a drop. Um, I think it's like the ogre chiefs can drop them, and they're really good. So you could just go uh, wing sword and shield for everyone, and they'd be fine. Uh, I'll show off the main uh, the dagger with uh, Maria here. Yeah, I don't have a spare giant helm for her. And then I'll go with uh, the... Oh, I did get a Mage's Staff. I did, that must be new. I used to use the Wearer Buster. This... 
That's definitely a recent drop. I don't remember seeing that. So this is a drop from one of the sorcerers down here. I definitely got that recently and didn't even notice it. Uh, that should do really good damage though. That's a pretty high level um, uh, staff. It's it's possible we can use it as an item in combat. In Final Fantasy 1 anyway, that was a uh, fire 2 in battle. But listen. <laughs> Wise of you to run away. Hmm. Not as impressive as the previous set of weapons. I don't think anything we've got equipped is like piercing. You don't think weapons go to 16 anymore? Well, we'll figure it out as we go. I don't actually know what the maximums are. They could just max out it. Well, no. Um, my shields are already level 11. And I wasn't doing anything special. So if I, it definitely goes to double digits. I assume 16 because that's what it used to be. Did the, um, one thing I want to check here. So, we've got that rod equipped. No, still 10 intelligence. The, 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 the mage rod or the mage staff didn't actually give us any intellect boost, which would have been kind of nice. Yeah, get used to the encounter rate being terrible. So I just want to find out, oh, you can. So it casts thunder as a free, um, Yeah, that's our first, um, I just want to see how strong it is. That's our first spell item, I think, right? Hmm, maybe I should have let uh, Maria learn rod skills, but... Anyway, I'm not too impressed, honestly. Go back to the wing swords. Uh, let's... Let's just stick with my default that I went with originally. But anyway, point is, we've got a few different options. I'm trying to keep Furion on swords, Maria on bows, Guy on axes primarily, which is all their default weapons. Just because it's kind of like their canonical weapon class. So can you use... you don't have to equip it, right? Yeah, you can just use it. Ah, garbage. 17 damage. It's nothing. It doesn't let you single target it as far as I could see, so... You know, what's the point, right? The, uh, the mage staff was a lot better in FF1. I guess I could show off some of my spells, though. Uh, they do get, uh, upgraded animations as you, um, get, I think, to level 6? Level 6 on the spell and they start looking a little cooler. So... There you go, that's what that's what Fire 7 looks like now. You can see the difference right there. <laughs> if I find something weak to an element, I can show off how much damage we can do, but... Like, I don't think these guys are actually weak to any elements. I think they're, they absorb all elemental damage. These guys are definitely trolls, wasting our time. You know, we could try stop or something. Like, I, I've got all these cool spells. I should... There we go. Look at it working. It, it healed him? It stop doesn't even do damage. That was... How did it... I'm actually quite confused. Stop doesn't do damage. What? So status inflictions... He, if you're... You can absorb a status infliction type spell and get healed by it. Well, that's... That's new. Even status spells. Like, that's... I mean, it's nice you get to see the, uh, the animations. 
I definitely don't remember this happening in the previous versions. Then again, I didn't use a lot of black magic in general, but... Huh. As if it matters, like, an enemy that's immune to magic. Magic is so bad. Yeah, even that heals them. I wonder where they get the number from for the amount of healing it does for status spells. Hm. Oh well, we'll find something that is actually uh, damageable by magic and show it off. Maybe. Tired of the uh, troll fires, just wasting my time. All right, here we go. Fire should do good damage on these guys. I'll show it off. These guys also, in case you're wondering, hit. They hit for a lot of damage. I've seen. I've seen these guys do like 600 damage. So if you're trying to grind HP, uh, they're great. All right, let's show sh single target fire against something weak to fire. I mean, look at that. Almost 500 damage. That's not bad, right? It did take me like you know hours to grind it, but. If it's weak, you know. Oh, here's another thing. Uh, so one thing I've learned is the um, the weird jumpy guy, whatever that's supposed to be. Uh, those guys are weak to poison, it turns out. So I did figure that out by experimentation. So uh, if you're ever fighting them and you want to use magic, use poison. It, it'll technically kill them. And uh, the turtles seem to always be weak to ice, so I'll just showing off all these animations, you know, why not? Although Adamantoys is pretty strong. Definitely the best enemy for grinding right now. Uh, and I want to show off what else we got. Thunder. There you go. Big lightning bolts. So that's like the regular damage is around 100. Not that impressive. Um, anything else we could show off? Well, let's see if the status spell would work normally. It did work. I don't know. I don't know what the hit rate is. Um, maybe the hit rate on stop is okay at level 5. Maybe maybe if we just grind up a little bit more, it would be really good. But, you know. Point is, magic has generally not impressed me very much. So, And for the amount of time it takes to invest in it, I thought it would be way better. Or I wanted it to be way better. So we just threw the egg in the water. Nice. I guess we should just exit out. Uh, these are the guys that drop lots of spells and wing swords and stuff. So this is kind of a nice fight if you want gear. I don't know if ogres are weak to any element. At least nothing that I tried was specifically effective with damage. Um, I haven't tried like you know, death effect. Yeah, it's not very good. Uh, what other spells can we technically cast? In theory, you could try to um, single target them. It might be a little bit more successful. Maybe you could look up their magic defense or something on the bestiary if you wanted to see their not maybe it has their weaknesses. Pro probably does. But yeah, problem is most of the time these spells just miss. So it's so much faster just to train up your weapons and kill them, right? And I will say the flame bow better than I thought it would be. There you go, some random spells. And uh, let's just get out of here. You still lose almost all of your hit points when you, uh, when you teleport out. It's definitely like a percentile kind of thing. I think if we get our teleport skill high enough, uh, you won't lose quite as much, but I don't know if it's worth it. <laughs> it take a lot of grinding. And to be honest, once you're on the world map, after you teleport, you could just use like a cottage or a, a tent or something. Uh, 
All right, so we dropped off an egg. Let's go talk to the wyvern. And uh, I think then we can figure out where to go next. Ah, the, the wyvern's gone, so definitely died and got eaten. Yeah, the last living wyvern's dead, but uh, we threw an egg in a water in a pond, so uh, sure. Then there'll be exactly one wyvern, and it will live until it dies. Great. You're welcome. Thanks for saving one wyvern. I guess that's it, huh? Yeah, for the rebels. Like, in 50 years after it grows up, it'll, uh, it'll help. It's fine. It'll be a Millennium Falcon wyvern that'll come and save the day with Death Star number two. I wonder if poison is strong enough now to AoE these kinds of things, because they're weak to it. Yeah. Isn't that pretty weak? Like, level 7, that's a lot of grinding, and it still can't even wipe out a small group of something that's weak to poison. Well, we do not have the Toad spell just yet. <sighs> Alright. So, I suppose... We can look at our map. Uh, if that's the quest done, I guess we should go back and have a little chat with uh, Hilda. Um, we don't have... This is one of those times where we just sort of have to sail around, I think. Uh, I've had some luck warping these or stopping these guys. Let's see. <laughs> Magic is the worst. At least the animation is quick if you miss everything. Yeah. I mean, maybe they thought Final Fantasy 1, uh, they made Lightning 2 and Ice 3 a little bit too strong or something. I don't know. Actually, I think we'll just run for now. I'm not sure how running away on your boat works, to be honest. I mean, uh... Where would you go? There are birds following us on a boat. It would be nice if you could, like... Like a Dragon Quest spell, like the Repel spell would be really nice for this. Layla, the the temporary companions are just not very useful. Sorry. They just sort of get in the way and waste your time. And besides, she tried to kill us. So, uh, she gets what she gets. Alright, let's have a little chat. See what's going on back in uh, in the lovely castle. Oh yeah, the princess is being a little bit weird ever since the king died. That's right. Yeah. And he's our new king, right, Gordon? Yeah, she's probably gone crazy. Ever since her dad died, she's just been lost in grief. This is where the king and Minwoo used to hang out, but, uh, you know, then he died. Do I have a temporary character who's my favorite? I mean, Joseph was pretty good. It's Brosif. It's gotta be Brosif. Alright. Ophirion! I guess we'll just leave everyone outside while Ophirion talks to the princess a little bit. Yeah. A little bit of a booty call while, uh... We're in the middle of a war. Straight to bed, huh? She doesn't mess around. Forever? Are we getting married? Does this mean I get to be the king? 
Oh, wait, you're not a real princess? Ah, oh, she's not a real princess at all! She's a snake! Who could have guessed it? <laughs> That's uh, quite the sprite they've got here. Enjoy the boss music! Guy, that was very underwhelming. You know what, guy? That was so underwhelming. No more axes for you. That'll do. <laughs> yeah, the uh, the balance of this game is a little bit weird. Mostly, uh, mostly too easy, I would say. Well, we got a ribbon. Wonder if that's good. Layla, how did you see that? Weren't you having a nap? <laughs> All right, I guess she's. I guess she can be uh, part of the team. She helped us out. She was just resting up, you know. Oh, they're gonna have a tournament in Palamecia, and we're gonna rescue the real princess. All right, now we're gonna go take Gar Gordon again. And uh, just ditch Layla. Apparently now she's in charge of the army. She's just jo like she was a pirate trying to kill us, and then we beat up her pirates. She saved us once, and now she's the leader of their army. So you can you can rise up the ranks. It's kind of like uh, um, General Solo moving up the ranks of the rebellion. It it really just takes one battle, and then bam, you're uh, you're in charge. I told you this is Star Wars. All right, so now we've got Gordon again, even worse than Layla, honestly. Um, I mean, apparently we've got some kind of ribbon. I don't know if we want to use that. Magic defense? And uh, yeah, half damage from elements and statuses. <laughs> it's uh, super good. <laughs> don't let me... Uh, Play it down, you know, it's uh, pretty much best headset in the game Go on get you don't need to be worrying about us. Yeah, she's just gonna rob the entire treasury while we're gone Next time we're in town the pirates will be back and they'll have taken everything Where real princess? Yeah, guy doesn't know a lot of words. He's he's too busy uh, talking beaver, basically. All right, so Palamecia. Do we know where Palamecia is? I can never remember the names in this game. Part of it is I played like the original NES translation, which was different than the Dawn of Souls translation, and I just it never stuck with me. Uh, we found a couple secret areas that we're not supposed to go to yet. Um, no, so I guess I was thinking maybe Finn, but no, Palamecia is going to be like over in the desert or something, right? Uh, we could just walk there. Nah, sailing's probably faster. Getting a chocobo, maybe it should be what we do. We can pick up a chocobo over here pretty quick. Yeah, I, I know where everything is. You guys... I don't know what it is about these games, but uh, let me just remind people early on in the stream here to uh, try, try to resist backseat gaming. <laughs> I know it's hard, but just, uh, you know, let me, let me do it as my pace. Alright. Sorry, Gordon, but you're just dead weight. We could probably get to Missidia pretty easily at this point. And buy all the high level magic. I know. I, I made a run for Mesidia once when we were low level and it was too dang it was too scary. We could go now, but you know, it's not the same. Can we get through this pass? Oh yeah. Uh, these guys are pretty tough. Chimeras were bosses in the last dungeon. Oh, they're already running away. Never mind. I think I saw in the bestiary the uh, chimeras are rank 5 or something, so it's more than the other ones. I don't know if they drop anything useful though. The music is very good. 
I highly, uh, highly enjoy this remix. All right, antlions don't seem very tough. But that's how far you have to go from, like, because Kashwan to the north is where we got the uh, Sunfire. You really don't have to go very far away to fight battles that, for your level, you have no chance. Now, the enemies, the balance of this game, like I said, is kind of wonky. No weapon glitch. You can't just A, B, A, B, A, B, and dodge everything. But you can just take a chocobo and run wherever you want to go. Nothing in this desert. I never remember where all this stuff is. I, I don't know. I've played this game a few times, but... We'll just cruise around. Eventually, we'll find Palamecia. And you can enjoy the music. I mean, that's something right there, definitely. Okay, you want me to go in there? Alright, alright. Goodbye, Chocobo. What kind of enemies we got around here, anyway? Eh. Garbage. Yeah, they- ever since the Dawn of Souls, they patched out the Select Cancel. Alright, this- this sort of looks like a Coliseum, right? <laughs> Just a little bit. Oh, we almost got to the Emperor, but not quite. We just about assassinated the Emperor. Good good fighting. To the victor goes Hilda. Okay. So we just gotta kill some ant lions, right? Or something? Ant lions seem to be monster of the day. Hmm. Oh, maybe it's a behemoth. That looks kinda like a behemoth. Classic Final Fantasy monster. I mean, I don't respect enemies in this game, so let's just see what he does. He's got a bit more defense. Okay, let's respect enemies. Like it matters. Um, I will Berserk Guy. I'll, oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, the plan is to cast Blink on him and Berserk, because I've got exactly two buff spells. And then switch to full-on offense mode. There you go. But the blink should handle some of his evasion, and the berserk should make him stronger. <laughs> Definitely the kind of strategy that we don't need, but we'll do it. <laughs> yeah, this is why I don't normally use fists very much, but we got to see him one shot a behemoth, so hey. There you go, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Nobly fought. Enjoy your just reward. Now kill the Emperor. Honestly, we should probably just punch him to death right now. Ah, oh, was it another trick? Ah, oh, that dirty Emperor. Alright, we should fight some Dark Knights. We could probably beat these guys up. Actually, you know, the Knights from the beginning of the game are probably still too strong. The uh, Death Knights that one-shot everybody, they... Well, we might be strong enough. I don't know. They've got pretty good stats. But yeah, I mean, Guy, uh, he, <laughs> that was fun. Okay, back to your bad axe. One day you'll get a better axe and, uh, we won't do that anymore. But yeah, if you've got a shield equipped, you go from 8 evasion to 99. So, you know, it's, uh, mm -mm, pretty good. And part of the reason we do so much damage is, um, plus 10 strength from the Giant's Gloves. And plus 10 strength from the giant helm. So that's like part of the scaling exponential multiplier. But honestly, um, punching is just super strong, so. We'll never escape Sturdy Iron Gate. Exclamation point answer space your and your entrance there. That's just, you gotta put you gotta call summon the command to, to answer the trivia game. You're kidding me. Who's this Paul guy? And how dare he kill a Dark Knight in one hit? He was in the mines? Oh, that's right. Like, way at the beginning of the game, when we're looking for Mithril, I guess we saved that guy. Or something. It's just some rando guy. Apparently he's tough. 
Okay, uh, and he just walked into a dead end and disappeared, right? Yeah. Monster in a box. Um, some of these guys might be new and slightly stronger. We'll see. I don't have my hopes up. Good, an antidote. Thanks, game. Well, we've got a new dungeon. Also, hey there, dirigible. Uh, I do like having the map in this game. We get to see all the uh, dead ends. I think that I feel like the top right one will have some treasure in it, and one of the ones in the middle will be the progression, but we'll see. It's been a long time since I played this game. And this one has some treasure in it. Nothing too good. Hmm. Just for interest's sake. Ooh, the Death Flower survived an attack! The animations for the magic are pretty nice, I, I will say. Even if the effect is pretty weak. You also technically can do this. I don't know if I showed this off. But that works. Um, so there actually is a really easy way to kill undead. I don't know if it always works, but it's been pretty reliable in my experience. Should try AOE uh, lifing them, honestly. See if that works. All right. So treasure was in the middle. I guess progression. Oops. Progression's top right. Hmm. I expect Kamir is probably strong against fire, ice, lightning. Normally, we just we don't really have a lot of value spells right now. We need a better axe. I bet you there's a better axe in this dungeon. It's been a long time since we got an axe upgrade. Yeah, guest parties are weak. But if it's someone who's just a cutscene character, maybe he's stronger. <laughs> he just shows up. If, if he's that strong, why do we have to rescue him in the mines, though? That's the real question. How did I just autopilot through that? It's like I played this once or twice. Uh, you know, let's try some more magic. I don't know. I feel like I want to... I want Marie to be a black mage, but black mages are just... I don't think it's good enough. I also kind of want to take everyone's shields off so we take some damage because nothing can hit us. Let's try that. Oh, we can miss on AoE. Alright, I've convinced myself. We'll go, uh... I mean, Furion is my sword, bro. So if I can find another wing sword, we'll do that. Um, the axes are really not very good at the moment. Uh, let's see, what could we do? I should do this from, like, the normal menu. This is... You know, dual wielding is still pretty cool, right? Alright, Maria, as fun as your bow back row has been, it's time to go offense mode. So you can go 
the main gauche kind of covers for a shield because it adds so much uh, uh, agility. And then uh, you've kind of been like spear girls, so. Actually, yeah, we'll do that here too. We'll mix and match our weapons a little bit. Everyone gets two different kinds of weapons. Let's see how it works. The dagger is garbage. Sadly. Maybe I should go dagger offhand. I wonder if, um... I wonder if the main gosh scales off of, like, agility rather than strength. Like, she doesn't- her, her, her agility is not bad. Agility 67 is actually higher than her strength. So that doesn't sound correct. It has a high base damage value. I wonder why it's so weak. Because it has, like, attack 32, right? Which is higher than... Well, what are we looking at here? Wing sword is 42. Axes are much lower. Hm. I could start training her on uh, rods or something. Maybe I'll just do that. Hm. I don't know. It's fine. It seems to be a Hilda there. But yeah, for some reason, Maria always seems to do less damage. It's like she's got a, a secret internal damage negative multiplier, you know? Is it the real Hilda? Or did we fall for a trap a second time? Also, see, Gordon's fine. Alright, you two. No smoochy boochy. Time to go. Yeah, we'll go kill a bunch of guards while you run away. We didn't really need him in the party anyway. I was waiting for her to say you're a little bit short for a uh, Imperial Knight. Um, I mean, we're fine. Where are we going here? Round and round. So I just took the shortcut. I could have gone the long way, but that's the dumb way. I don't think there's a shortcut out though. Hey, look, it's the guys that drop mage staves. And have apparently no defense. Oh, I I forgot. So Furion with the wing sword. The Chimeras must count as flying because they have wings. That's why he does such good damage. And maybe we've got a weapon that, uh, there's another mage staff. Uh, maybe we've got a weapon that is bonus damage to mages or something. Because there are a lot of, like, weapons with special effects, special damage kind of thing. Bonus damage. Well, honestly, taking away the shields has only made us even more powerful. Alright, now what? This is just the end of the dungeon already? Okay, cool. Well, it didn't take very long. Emperor's gone. I don't think he got his groove. Any more behemoths? No. One thing I should point out, there is a cool little feature here. You can check to see if you had all the treasure chests. And we did, in fact, get all the treasure chests. There was four. And they were all garbage. Alright. Now, no chocobos down here. Uh, can we... We can... I think we can walk around the left side of the mountain. We'll fight some antlions or something on the way back to our boat. There you go. Now we take damage. Now that we don't have our shields equipped getting status effects and stuff. Look at that. Hmm. 
Not that Maria can get status effects. Because she cheats. Oh, can we get through this? I don't... I don't think I can go... I have to go all the way around. This is where you should have docked your boat, I guess. Well, the chocobo on the way down was smart, but... Then the getting away part kind of slow. That's dumb. Alright. A little bit longer. Gotta thin the antlion population a bit more. Call the herd. I don't think I would mind, like the random encounters are pretty bad, but um, like the frequency is pretty bad, but I, it's even worse when it's just the same encounter over and over again, like four ant lions, man, come on, give me something else. All there is is just hundreds of ant lions crawling this desert. And they've got a lot of money. Thousands of gold on these antlions. Alright, now we've gone far enough north to get into easy mode. And back down to danger zone. Quick little ship, sailing voyage, and we're done with another very, very easy side, well not side quest, but just a, it's like a little pit stop on our way. I wonder if Guy could hit 3,000 damage if he punched a hornet. I think he's probably pretty close. Alright, the rebel army's back, baby. Apparently we should go retake it already. Let me just double check. I want to listen to the music one more time. Apparently the guards are all gone. Like, we rescued, uh... The princess, but she didn't even come back to her castle. She's just like, okay, we're invading. I guess they saw how strong we were. So they're just gonna use us to win the win the win the war. Alright, kids, time to go save the day. Dang it. One more step and we wouldn't have any random encounters. Know why they like they cut out um, river battles? Okay, so this is the camp. Just a couple little tents. At least they've got the right music playing. They brought the band with them. Hey, Garden, I'm the heart of the. Yeah, see, three random kids who nearly died a few days ago are now the core of the rebel army. I guess we'll take out the heart of the star of the Death Star. Just give me an X-wing and I got gotcha. you. I'll use my uh, space magic to uh, punch him to death, basically. Yep, you owe us your life. And we destroyed the Dreadnought. That's us. Uh, you know, we did some. We also have a wyvern that we did. We saw some dragoons. We did a bell. You know, we did all this stuff. She doesn't care. Do not fear. I am the true princess. Hmm. Well. There you go, guys. That's your fan service. Let's go, uh... Let's go kill some dudes. Uh, 
so can we get in here now? Yeah. So the gate there was closed last time. Uh, let me just double check on the map. Yeah, there's eight treasure chests in there. And the three that we have, I believe, counted from the town. And the town still has the random guards, yeah. Finn... It's got a ways to go, you know? These are the guards that give you, uh, flame bows and stuff if you can kill them. There was kind of a trick to fighting them fairly early in the original game. Anyway, let's see what, uh, the actual castle's got. Apparently just random monsters. And a pirate. Pirate turned rebel general. Boy, you guys should be happy. Layla's back. She didn't even die. She was in the party and didn't die. I mean, that's pretty impressive. Uh, okay, where do we go? Treasure to the right. Treasure to the left. Room to the bottom right. With How do we get in there? Probably a secret passage. Upstairs to the bottom left. Okay, we'll save bottom left for last then. Just trying to avoid as many enemy encounters as I can. Uh, 2,000 gold. 1,000 gold. Hmm. Oh, that's right, we gotta kill somebody. <laughs> Sorry, Layla. Hmm. Alright, Guy Speaks Beaver, he knows how to do this. Actually, I'll see if I can show off a cool trick. If I can glitch her out, I will. Okay, guys, you need to stop killing all the enemies so fast. Hmm, I don't remember how to get over the right thing. Seems like she's got better armor than last time. She used to be able to kill herself much easier. Hmm. She's got a gold hairpin. Didn't I already take one of those off of her? The gold hairpins are okay, but uh, I'd rather have the giant's gloves most of the time. Well, eventually she'll get a turn. Actually, the battle might go by agility, and if it's if it's agility first, then uh, I've got a bad feeling about Layla. All right. Okay, next time. Oh, the enemy killed her. I can't show you the glitch like that. Hold on, hold on. I need her to kill herself. You'll see. I'm pretty sure I can re remake my old glitch. Alright, you want some of this, Spectres? Bring on the magic. I guess only like low level, um, wait. <laughs> well, uh, this was not the glitch I was anticipating. So in Final Fantasy 1, we had one crash where I had to restart it. In uh, Final Fantasy 2 Pixel Remaster, we've had our second uh, straight up uh, game crash. 
This is the first one we've had so far in this game in Final Fantasy 2, but it's not super promising that there's still things like this. And interestingly enough, the, it's not locked up. It's just, uh, it's like it's waiting for Guy to cast a spell or something forever. Cool. Well, just a second. Well, we're we're troubleshooting the uh, the new game for them, doing some free some some paid beta testing. You know, I remember back on the NES, uh, the game never crashed when you cast magic in battle. Is this is this part of the features? <sighs> Let's see where the auto battle puts us. Just the beginning of this area. All right, well. What is there to say? The game couldn't handle people using magic. Probably the game is just not balanced for actually using spells, you know. They never really coded it in properly. They made magic so bad that uh, they just expect you to not use it. All right, well, I'll pick up the garbage chests because that's what we did last time. So I have some ideas of why that glitched out, but, uh... Oh, she's still... She has to kill herself with her first attack. This, uh, isn't quite working. Oops, not the right person. Look, I'm trying to show off something cool. And then the game straight up crashes on me. I would like there to be one less enemy, but we'll see. Here we go. Perfect. Hey, I got it. So, um, if, if you have dual wielding and you attack yourself and kill yourself with the first attack, and I think it might need to be on auto battle, um, then you just die while standing. <laughs> so, that's a fun non-crashing bug. And then, you know, you face plant at the end of battle, but... That was what I was trying to show off, just the fun one. I wasn't trying to crash the game or nothing. encounter rate in here. What did I get there? Scourge and Berserk? I guess the last dungeon was so short, they're just uh, bringing back the same enemies from the last one into this dungeon. Alright, we got the three garbage chests again. We're just slaughtering our way through the weaklings. This is part of why I end up over leveling though. The enemies, there are so many enemy battles that it just forces you to level up. Or if you try to go to low level, then it's just really, really difficult because you've got combat every couple steps and you know, if you didn't have 3000 hit points, you'd, you'd be dying. Not that you need 3,000 hit points, but, 
you know, if you had like 500 or whatever, you'd definitely die. Uh, I can't remember if there's anything up here even. Hmm. Just floating brains with eyeballs. Nothing suspicious going on in the Empire. Oh, the mirror. Right, 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 right. I remember the mirror. I don't think there's anything we can do here right now, but there's a cool mirror. Let's we'll show it off. Not a ripple of imperfection. Let's ask it about things. Or show it something. Alright, let's see if we can save a little bit of time here. Apparently we cannot. Boy, did we get a lot of money. Like, it's not even just that we did a bit of grinding. The, um, the chests on the first floor that give you 1,000 gold. I mean, just compare 1,000 gold from a treasure chest versus one of these random battles, the amount of gold we're getting. We got another, like, 2,000 just from that one fight. An FF2 rando. Hmm. I don't even know how they would start it. Oh, there's some new uh, wizard enemies. They probably have some new spell books. So if we're lucky, we'll get some cool spells. And there's these captains. These are the formerly strong... Uh, Guards of towns, you know. Nowadays, they're just auto battle cha chuff. Chaff. Hey, look, some golden armor, though. Ooh! Uh, I see a couple interesting spells on the drops today. Well, well, well. Let's uh, put those to good use. Yeah, so Aura is interesting. Just increases effectiveness. What a weird spell. Uh, I can only learn one more spell on Maria. Hmm, I wonder what it'll be. Osmos. I think I'll probably transition her to just only black magic at once she runs out of slots, but you could easily just drop blind and sleep because they're pretty garbage. But the thing is, um, as much as those two spells are both actually quite interesting, um, right now they suck. Oh, it's black magic? I thought it was white. I should have taught it to Maria, actually, then. Was it this white in the Dawn of Souls version? I feel like it was definitely white in that version. Nothing. <laughs> the stop spell is okay. Oh, nice. Yeah, so this is the problem. I would basically have to take a little break for an hour and just grind my spells until eventually they started working again. So, as usual, magic is just bad and uh, making it work takes so much grinding. This whole enemy encounter would be over right now if I just attack normally. Good job, Furion. You're doing a good job. So I didn't grind Basuna high enough, apparently. This one battle... Okay, good. He broke out of it. I'm like, this one encounter is going to kill us because it's...
Just because I didn't fight. Guess we could do some healing after that nonsense. Yeah. Well, we'll get another aura and maybe I'll give it to Maria again. I thought, I thought for sure it was white magic. Oh, uh, look, you would have just got a toad tome anyway, so don't even get too excited about it. I, there are definitely more black spells than I thought there were, because that means break would go to the final slot, and then we've got three more. Death and aura. And then there's Flare, and that's everything, I guess? Unless I've missed some. I didn't expect that we'd get all of the black tomes so early. Assuming that's all of them. There might be more than you can even learn. Death is nice. No, it's not. Don't listen to these guys on the chat. None of the magic is good. Even nice. It's not even nice. It's just another dumb spell that doesn't work. I could teach it to Maria. Maria could have 99 intelligence, we would cast it, and it would do nothing. And then we would cast it 100, 200, 300 times. It would eventually level up to rank 4 or 5 after a few hundred casts. And it would still mostly do nothing. But if you cast it a thousand times and get it to level 12, then it might work half of the time. Unless somebody's immune to it, and then it will do nothing. So, nah, don't... Magic Man, I don't know. It's not even worth talking about unless you want to do a lot of grinding. We'll just let Furion heal everybody up while we go for one. Death 7 8. Depends on what you're fighting, but no. I, I don't believe it. And even level 7 or 8. Uh, by my calculations, that's about... What are we thinking? Uh, let's see, 40 or 50 to get to level 7. That's probably like 500 castings or, you know, some hundred number of castings. If it takes hundreds of uses to get to the point where it's not garbage, it's garbage. <laughs> and every spell is like that. Uh, okay, I think I've gone through all of the side travels for now, other than this mysterious room on the bottom right. We got a couple more chests, some more secrets somewhere. There's definitely some secret passages somewhere around here. I wouldn't mind my cure spell getting a little bit more powerful. Like 900's good, but you know we've got like thousands of HP. Ah, uh, okay, let's. You couldn't even do this in the NES version either. Just attack the enemies at the back. This would have been a pretty good formation back in the NES era, but now you just attack from the back. A gold curus, that's an upgrade. More toad, and even a drain tome. Man, there's a lot of black spells that I never use. More black magic than I thought there was. And we got another aura tome, cool. Uh, I'm really surprised that we still don't have like protect and shell or invisible or whatever they call it. We got blink, but not the other one. Um, all right, well, I'm gonna give it to Guy because he's got the worst agility. Oh, I see what's happened. <laughs> I optimized. Dang it, this is not the... This keeps happening. He's, he's supposed to be wearing light armor. And I keep not noticing. He's supposed to have that on. Well, the good news is the gold curus has the same defense as the knight's armor. And, uh, no penalty. Dang it. So how's, how's he doing on his agility here? 
Yeah, he's a bit stifled. I probably forgot about that for a while there. He's at 44 agility compared to 70. Dang, heavy armor is really bad in this game. Like, maybe once you've got 99 agility, then you can just put heavy armor on. But until then, you probably shouldn't wear it. Hmm, secret walls. I don't even know where we got the knight armor. It must have been a drop or some treasure chest. But I definitely didn't even notice it. There it is. There's probably one of these on the first floor as well. Hmm, that might be okay. Oh, it's a staff. That's not as amazing. It's not as strong as the mage staff that we got as a drop. But I guess... Oh, we already had two. It's not even a new... That's an old one. We've already... We already got one. Don't give me old weapons from secrets. There's stuff to buy. You can buy uh, elixirs and stuff. Go buy all the, uh, the high-level healing items. They're like 50 grand per elixir or something. What are you talking about? There's nothing to buy. Invest in potions. Hmm. That's just fine. Well, I will say the double attack from the remake is pretty strong now. Now that our weapon ranks have gone up to ridiculous levels. Hitting two enemies per turn is pretty nice. And there's Squatch Meal and David. Oh, what did we get? We can't even carry anymore? It's probably just a potion, right? It was re I was reading chat. I wasn't even paying attention to my looting. All right, is there a way to the right side? Probably. Maybe on a different floor or something though. Like Ethers are only worth like 10 MP or something, but you can, I'm pretty sure you can just buy elixirs. Like, you don't have to, you don't have to buy ethers if you don't want. Battle Axe, is that, that's an old one, right? Yeah, Battle Axe is tier 2, goes... Maybe Mithril's tier 3 then, I guess. Yeah, Osmos, uh... Well, it kind of breaks the balance once again. One of the few spells probably worth grinding for long dungeons. It's not that there are zero good spells. I just think most of them are not worth the amount of time it takes. Because we are talking hundreds and hundreds of spell casts just to get one new spell caught up to kind of a usable level. A diamond curious. Ooh, that's some uh, high quality armor there. That's a uh, that's a big jump. <laughs> Random drop, eh? Oops, I didn't mean to go down. And someone was like, "Blue, you don't have to fight enemies in this map. You can just go kill the boss." And then I wouldn't have a diamond curus now, would I? So I wonder if it's like the secrets are linked. Like you go through the one secret and then that leads to the next one. I, I could be just wasting time here, but now that I've seen some cool rare drops, I'm tempted to just keep fighting to see if I can get more. Hmm, where would it link though? 
It's not like FF4 where you typically walk outside the borders of the of the world. And it's not like Final Fantasy V where you can just have a thief job and see through walls. Uh, it's probably connected from a different layer or something. Oh well, we'll figure it out at some point. I just wish the encounter rate was a little bit less brutal. Alright, so we're on the floor that has the big mirror. And then the throne room. I think there's a... I actually kind of remember like there's a stairs down in one of the sides of this room. Seems kind of familiar. And that's probably where we'll find uh, the last few chests. So there's dual heads and then there's dual deads. I wonder if you can use uh, healing magic to kill the dual deads because they're like maybe they're zombies. All right, here's uh, Gotos, not the Emperor. No, where are my soldiers? Alright, so he's uh, a boss. I still don't have shields equipped, so let's see how this goes. Mm, not that amazing. Not very good. He's got a lot of defense, clearly. Not a lot of offense. Okay, well, uh, it's not very high level at all. Let's do one cool trick that uh, you won't believe. <laughs> Why is punching so strong, man? It doesn't even make sense. Well, bye, Godos. The en the enemy balance is really weird. Like most enemies have such most bosses have such a high defense that your regular weapons do nothing or nearly nothing. But if you punch them, you just kill them in one or two shots. So why? I don't know. Just a weird game balance. I thought I was hoping the pixel remaster would have kind of. Uh, evened out some of the balance problems, but it doesn't seem to have. Alright, so Hilda's all happy. We save the day. She's a queen again. Uh, Minwu left for Mysidia, never came back, so I guess we'll go there. There's mages. And maybe some ultimate magic. Maybe there's some masks. And there's a white mask here, even. It's funny, Minwu left to go get the Ultima spell, but he didn't even take the white mask with him. Uh, also, uh, magic. Yeah, we already know about Missidia. I already learned, I already know everything. Except Ultima Tome. <laughs> so many key words. Do you know about masks? No. Do you know about Ekmetelos? No one knows it better than Hilda. But maybe Paul knows. The greatest crook in the world. Paul. He's strong enough to punch down a sergeant in one blow. Alright. You see nothing out of the ordinary? What are you talking about? Okay, I'm totally a cheater. Dirty cheater. I should have gone and talked to Paul. Okay, but this... 
is not actually where I wanted to go. We'll, we'll, we'll save this for later. We'll go talk to Paul, then we'll go back down there. Seeing as I'm breaking sequence, technically. I'm pretty sure. I wanted to get the last normal chest, but it might all link up, honestly. Like... So... Well, there was the giant mirror thing, too. I, can't, I don't know what the deal is with the mirror. Hmm. Alright. Don't mind the giant um, hole in your throne room. Another game where you can do wield shields? Awesome. So why can't I find a way to the right side of this room? That's the real question. Because I don't even see any stairs over there. I must have pushed against every wall except that one. Wow. Giant's gloves. Those are pretty good. Alright. There's probably an achievement for getting all the treasure chests, so that's why I can't resist. And then on this floor... So the staircase in the top right, that was the way down to the dungeon. But there's also this room on the bottom right that we've never been to. Hmm, there is literally a guy over there. Can we do round? No, we can't go round. Maybe we can find out Paul, if maybe he's in the town. Actually, the town's not a bad place to go anyway. It's the first time we've been able to go here. Yeah, we killed the big boss. We got the Dispel, we got the Mini, we got Fog, we got Slow, so much magic. I mean, we'll probably be going to Mysidia soon enough and we can just get everything, but uh, we're also at the point in the game where you get way too many spells, because if you want to use them all... Hey, P hey, Paul, how's it going? Do you know about uh, that? A white mask? Hmm. There we go. Now he tells you... <laughs> it's it's like it's a super difficult puzzle, right? You just gotta talk to him, tell him something about the, uh, the secret word, and he... Oh yeah, I know that secret. Alright, I expect we've got better armor than we can buy, but we should find out. Uh, no, we, we could use one more gold curus. We've already got a diamond one, which was lucky. Oh, you can just straight up buy giant helms? I didn't know that. Dang. I'll buy one for later. And, uh... I think the ice shields are better than the golden shields. I mean, we got a bunch of those. If we want to use them. I mean, they're practically the same, but the ice gives you protection from fire. One of the reasons to, to um... Just use the shields. <laughs> Mini is not worth your time. All magic is not worth your time. We've been through this. Uh, we'll buy one more trident. We've got a, we got so much money, it doesn't really matter, but... It's just kind of interesting. I should probably sell a bunch of our old garbage inventory at some point, too. Um, what would be useful to have as backup? I don't suppose there's an item that removes, uh, muddle. Is that- is that what they call amnesia? Maybe we could have got- when Furion was confused and he was attacking everybody, maybe I had the item in my inventory and I- Because usually the mallet is for a different condition, but that might have worked. So yeah, ethers are pretty bad, cottages are great, and you know, elixirs are elixirs, we'll buy a couple. 
All right, we could spend all of our money very quickly if we bought some more elixirs, but we're going to more towns with more shops soon enough. Hey, let me out. All right, while we have a rest, I'm gonna be back in like just a minute. I'll be back real quick though. So. 